sneak peek about my Volvo uh, where we are and now we are currently making making it bigger and better uh, we have plans for photo the band pass here actually uh, the old uh, batteries underneath here are gone and we have replaced them with a 45 millimeter of plywood this is 45 millimeters uh, about two inches thick not not five 50 millimeters is two inches but it's quite thick and we have dropped this down so the old old baffle uh, was around here it was 27 millimeters thick and now it's 45 millimeters thick uh, it's around 125 centimeters to uh, 145 centimeters to that way uh, we have rounded those wheel arches behind there and it will be uh, it will be plain uh, more plain than the old one uh, we will be probably making a um, roundings here and uh, gonna make some roof lining here so it will be flush so we can have better look inside the enclosure what the subwoofers are in. Now I'm going to put a 6 15 inch sub subwoofers here, uh, 2, 2 and 2 and making it a 4 order band pass with a port around here, uh, quite large so you can see the subwoofers. The front two subwoofers will be um, basket down and the behind there will be basket up so you can see the cone and this round uh, are on here and the motors and the frames behind there so total of six subwoofers with two uh, digital designs m5 so that's a 0 0.66 ohms per amplifier and uh, in here at front we also <laughs> have been made uh, small updates in here making a uh, center console here with some 50 millimeter plywood and making some bracings here and also I'm thinking about if we uh, I have some problems with my front uh, floor here so probably we will make a, a custom fit plywood here and bolt it down underneath the uh, floor with some metal bracings to make it make it even stiffer so then uh, probably the only weak spot is doors or maybe this floor here and the firewall but I cannot brace firewall anymore and uh, the glass is glued I need to change it but it's glued heavily so it probably will held uh, we will pr uh, make uh, gonna have some around 50,000 watts with two amplifiers and with six subwoofers. I'm planning to be around the 160 decibel range, uh, probably 158 plus uh, with music and some burp with a um, capacitor or something like that. I can make it over 160. It's enough for me uh, and. Oh, also we are going to make some some bracings with the um, iron here, so making a steel frame uh, of some sort underneath uh, and up here, so uh, the subwoofers will be, the baffle will be totally dead, not moving anymore, and that's about it some lead lightnings and and uh, stuff like that it, it will be a white enclosure so you can see the subwoofers better with a lead uh, somewhere uh, maybe we'll be just using these straight strips here and making two lines of uh, smd 5050 rgb leds from both sides to keep it simple uh, the last time i had these uh, they were go going around and around they looked quite bad but maybe making some some i don't know actually uh, too uh, early to me to me to speculate about that but let's see about the trunk uh, the front end it will be staying the same so i have four of these digital designs vob3 uh, tweeters one here one here on the other side 2dd vow 10s on the doors and uh, four of these VOM 6.5s in the dash. Uh, total front end is all around one to two thousand watts with two SS48. Uh, every speaker in two ohms, I believe. But I, I'm probably getting a amplifier for the tweeter so I can put them into four ohms and also the doors into four ohms. I like it better. And at the back here. 
there have been some major issues. Uh, all the batteries are gone and I will be cutting down uh, this back, uh, back muffler here from there and making a straight pipe down. So basically I will have a more beefier sound and we will be cutting this uh, from here where these tapes are. We will be cut the floor down even more and make a battery rack down there. So I will be fitting um, maybe four to five uh, Odysseo Extreme batteries or Yasa uh, batteries or something very very beefy batteries down there. So I'm planning to use only four to six uh, batteries, maybe one there, one there and four down there and then using the loading power of a uh, 200 amp alternator or using a Digital Designs 100 amp um, chargers behind here to uh, uh, keep up the voltage and also using my um, uh, capacitor bank with a 83 farad of capacitors uh, to keep up the voltage. Now uh, I think that uh, last year I had major difficulties with the voltage because I had one dead battery. They were all used um, UPS batteries so probably now buying new batteries will help me to keep up the voltage much better. So um, the amplifiers will be somewhere here with a slide 1mm5 and, and a second. We will be uh, plywooding this all around so it will be totally covered uh, using all um, the Helix DSP. Maybe getting a DSP2, a Helix DSP2 or trying a let's say Audison um, uh, DSP or something different because uh, I want to test new stuff and I want to have a, a the Helix DSP2 has a card that you can use it as a sound card from your PC so I'm planning if I take my head unit off and uh, put a, a tablet with a Windows tablet on it and stream my music straight from the uh, tablet uh, into the uh, DSP processor from a digital side and the d processor will be uh, DA converting it to analog etc etc or I will be using a optical input with a let's say Chromecast HDMI uh, adapter to optical so I can use it as a playing device and the uh, actually I don't use any transfer um, cables to transfer the music I will be making a Wi-Fi in my car so I can stream wherever I am from my phone the music into my car so I don't have any Bluetooth connective issues or anything like that uh, only using the Wi-Fi and the Chromecast to stream the music no actually not stream it's not stream streaming it's using it as a playable device my car so uh, whenever somebody calls me it does not ring on my uh, car and I will be uh, in, on the shows I have noticed that I have major difficulties with the Bluetooth signal to work probably with the most uh, so many people around so maybe the Wi-Fi works better not sure but we will be trying it out but behind here just covering everything up, making everything prettier than it was because it was damn ugly with this um, green skull stuff here. They are all gone. It was quite nice idea, but ugly as hell. Uh, but it will be probably okay. What do you like it about now? Do you like it or dislike it? Or what uh, would you do differently? Would you maybe... Um, I'm planning of putting some speakers behind here to make the mid-range more louder when I have doors open. What kind of speakers I will be using? That's a good question. What subwoofers I will be using? That is also a good question. I haven't really announced anything yet, uh, but I'm planning to use Digital Design subwoofers as something big and beefier. What are they? You will find out in this video, so be sure to subscribe onto my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the comment section what do you like about the car so far in this year. Now, I haven't been making many videos because I don't have really time. Now, uh, the car is progressing slowly. I have some friends helping me. So they are very, very, very good uh, for me. I, I 
praise them uh, when they do something on my car. I am also made myself a lot for, uh, to the car. So uh, it is a common project now. And uh, the reason I don't have any time is I had uh, two twin um, sons were born prematurely. They were uh, 800 grams and one 1200 grams they were born on the 28th week so three months earlier and they are now in the er uh, not in the er it's a uh, actually i don't know what is in english but they are on extensive care on a local hospital so um it will be some time consuming for me but the boys are currently okay first surgery is coming up but hey it's life and we will be be okay and the volvo will be done sooner or later in this summer so stay tuned uh, we see you on the next video bye bye <laughs>